excited to be here. I've been a fan of Marnie and Michael for years. I got to go on their show on Bridge 31 many years ago, and then I was fired from all the jobs I had. Great. <laughs> Holy shit! There are some serious fans here. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, without further ado, the fully actual dudes themselves. Get up out of your seats and welcome to the stage, and let's start this show. Matt, Marty, and Michael, get up! Fully actual! Look, that's the inside of a colon. Yeah, you've already shown me that. Where the fuck is Matt? I don't know. I'm not Matt. <sighs> yeah, no shit. You're not Matt. I don't. Well, don't you have his location? Oh yeah. Let's see exactly where that fucking pig is. Oh my god. What? He's at the children's hospital. Cool. That's not good, Michael. Oh. I'd better call his handler. What the fuck is that? Hello? Matt? Did you order Uber Eats? Yeah. Oh wait, no, no, no. What about DoorDash? Yes, 100% I did. I mean, no, I'm sorry for lying. Oh, <laughs> Holy shit, who is that? What, what, did they fuck your order up? Nah, some dude to dress or some shit. I don't know, he looks like he's not from here. Invite him in. We're here for the bottle. The bottle? Oh, the bottle. Yeah, yeah, just come in and take it. No! No way! You're not taking the bottle! Michael, for fuck's sake, please just give them the bottle, dude. It's just Matt's calm. Sir, look at me. Please stay still. What you have in your hands is one of the most deadly, vicious, important biohazards the world has ever seen. No, oh, don't hiss, for fuck's sake, Michael. Secure the area, do not let him get away. Quickly! Fuck. Uber Eats for Michael? Oh, yeah. Where do you think you were going, pal? Do you guys want a burrito? Yeah, I mean, that's not suspicious at all, man. <laughs> wow, my powers are working. Get in the van, Michael! Go! Beef, chicken, everything, have it all. Oh, wait. Oh, wait a minute. DoorDash can't still following us. Go, 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 go! There's the Children's Hospital! Fucking Matt better be there, and those kids better still be alive. Matt! Matt! What the fuck are you doing here? I'm working. Working? We've always wondered what you did. How the, how the fuck did you find me? It doesn't matter. There's no time to explain. What, yeah. Matt? Yeah. He wants the cum bottle! Go, 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 go! We have to protect the cum bottle! What the fuck is happening? Matt, shut up! There's no time to explain. We need to find cover. Now! What the fuck? Are we in the valley? Yeah. Should we get some pingers? Yeah, I'm gonna double drop. Okay, left up here. Let's go to where my old dealer used to be. down this alleyway. Thought I hope he's got Pikachu's. Fuck. He's usually here. Fuck. 
He must be dropping off. Fucked up family. Oh, full house too. Oh, Thank you wow, so much for beautiful. coming, guys. Oh, as you know, we got a pretty big show in store. Best we got off. So, yep, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> We've got the conclusion to Matt vs. Michael. Now, you guys haven't seen episode number 39, but little uh, little hot tip it's actually 19 all they leading into rigged the it finale on my like <laughs> i had no chance of winning so we will find out the winner of that cum bottle tonight so that's exciting right we got willem coming on soon we got a prank call that i'm going to need all of your help for and we just got some other shit happening that that's tinder? just going to is tinder tinder yeah. as well as we're gonna solve Matt's baldness from all of the fucking pubic hair that you guys have sent in over this season. So thank you so much for that. I'm gonna have hair. But first of all, Mike, what do we got next? We got, we, we got our special guest. Thank you. On. Ladies and gentlemen, you please welcome our first guest. He holds the world record for catching the biggest flathead. He just told me backstage that he gets an erection every time he thinks of ex Big Brother host Gretel Colleen. What a coinky ding. Me too. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Willem Powerfield! Yeah! All right, you dogs. You stingray looking motherfucker! Get the dog! Motherfucker! I came here to get a fuck. And I've earned this fuck, so get the fuck up and get on my bonnet right now. Willa! Hey! Willa Powerfish! Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, Willa Powerfish! <laughs> All right, hang on, guys. Apparently he's... Uh, <laughs> oh, no. All right, so Willem is running 10 minutes life. late, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the next segment, all right? And wait, honestly, wait, no, he's not. Well, I don't know. Apparently, he's 10 minutes away. Anyway, we're going to move on to the next segment. And we have a huge jar of pubic hair that you... <laughs> Willem. <laughs> Get him, Willem. Get him, Willem. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, 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 well. Here okay. we are. Look, we lied to you guys, okay? Willem was here the whole time. I knew, I okay? knew. Okay, it was too. a shit lie, and I'm sorry about that, but we got Willem here right now. Now, um, Willem, you're a little bit nervous backstage. Yeah. I've this never really stood in... This many kind of people, it's pretty hectic. Yeah, Fuck just... yeah. Um, but yeah, thanks for being friendly. I yeah, guess. yeah, exactly. So we got Willem a wheelchair um, because we genuinely thought you were disabled. My pelvis is broken. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now um, let's have just let's just have a little chat because we're meaning to get you on the podcast for fucking ages and it's just never happened before. Yeah. But now you're here. So who the fuck? Are you? Are you a fucking dude who dresses up in that fucking outfit and, and goes out and just fucks with people? Like, you look, you look so lovely tonight, by the yeah. way. Yeah, look, it's just a character. Um, I'm just like every other single fuckwit sitting here, you know? I'm just a loser, just like all you guys, honestly. <laughs> you know? Um, 
No, I'm just a dude that likes making people laugh, just like you guys. Yeah, but like with the tattoos and shit, like how, how does that even happen? Because you got dye tattooed on your face. Yeah. <laughs> so like, um, <laughs> look, just like myself and everyone else, we all been through shit, um, and I don't want to get like real fucking like like this, but you know, I I, I went through some shit, you know, yeah. and uh, the, these are the tattoos that I got, and they all mean shit. Yeah. Um, and I went through shit. Hey, I've and I, I, I eat shit. <laughs> <laughs> Literally goes through shit. You know, shit. and um, no, I came out the other side and um, I couldn't be more blessed, even though I don't believe in God and fuck God, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, look, I don't mean that, but, um, you know, like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed to be where I am. Yeah. It could be worse. Yeah. You could have my face tattooed on you. <laughs> Who's that? Is that Praddy? That's Praddy. Come up here, Praddy. Let's just quickly get this out of the way. Come up on stage. Praddy has is. got Matt oh, Brown's fucking face tattooed on Like, the worst thing you could possibly do. Where is it, Praddy? Can you take Would your you pants off and that? show us? I'm not even going to put you on the spot, but... Like, look at this. That is full oh dedication. Oh, my God! Wow. Well done. <laughs> do you know him? No. <laughs> wow. Matt's well, been so know. happy. Matt's been like fucking talking about that nonstop. You can fuck him Every if you day wanted. we <laughs> come over to the Brown Reads, all Matt talks about, oh, some guy's got a tattoo on my face. It's literally the only thing he fucking talks about now. So thank, thank God you, we finally met you, Pratty. Wow. Willem, what's your best fishing story? And yell it. Um, is that was that, that was that big flathead real? No, of course not. <laughs> no, <laughs> you but, fucking idiot! But it looked <laughs> so real. It looked real. Yeah, of course. Photoshop's great, oh and that's a God. that's probably the worst Photoshop job ever. As yeah, well. the thing that, that was real though that fucking blew our minds was the fucking stingray thing. Don't they? Oh, dude. Like that killed Steve Irwin, and that animal. And oh, you're where just... I, I put the stingray in some guy's leg. Yeah. Yeah, that's that legit. That was legit. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. he get poisoned from that? I think, I, was it a thousand? I think it was a thousand dollars I paid him. That is was fucking insane. Was it permanent damage? Like, did he change? Well, he went to hospital for four days, I think. Oh, my God. Fuck. No oh. way, really. Fuck. Yeah, he what? did. Is it that deadly? Yeah. What, a stingray is that deadly? Bullshit. Yeah, well, the barb. So yeah, what does it do? It's just, a, what? it's just a little knife. No, nah, but the barb's got poison. Yeah, right? but like, what, four days? It's just... It fucking killed Steve Irwin, dude. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. It's, it's <laughs> fucking legit. You don't so, fuck around So with what's the poison like? What does it do to you? Um, I'm pretty sure it depends where you get fucked, but it can go to your heart. And, and he was just okay to do that for a grand? Yeah, but he was on, like... Liquids and shit, drips and shit, because he was fucked Imagine up. That's fucking insane. thousand insane. bucks. Imagine you know, if he died. You paid a grand for a man to die? <laughs> no, he signed a fucking waiver. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's, smart. that's smart. And then he actually swam across the Tweed Bar with a mullet suit. We tied mullet to him and cut him all open. And he swam it. But then he, he wanted to do another bar where the, there's a lot of bull sharks. But then I talked to my lawyer and my lawyer said, look... Even though he signs a waiver, if he gets done, you're getting fucked. And I was like, yeah, I can't do it. Oh. What, what's the chances? Because we've done a video with you in the Tweed, right? And yeah, for sharks. Yeah, for sharks. Oh, like, it's, like, mi it's minimal. Yeah, so if we swam from one end to the other, even in the Brisbane River. If oh, we no, did that, the Brisbane River, is, that's dangerous. Wait, so what, what are the chances that. if we swim from one end to the other that we're going to get attacked by? Fuck, people? I don't know. Maybe one in five? Nah, no way. Maybe like nine and ten. No way. Yeah, dude. We're going to have to nah, test Nah, people that. are saying no, but you don't know what's in the fucking water. I've been fishing these waters for like 40 years. You have fucking no idea. How old are you? 37. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. I was still in the fucking womb. My mum like, was down there. She was fucking, fucking Rex. How weird is it that Willem's younger than Matt? I'm 36. That's like 43. It's unbelievable. Uh, so, now... <laughs> now, Willem, we've got, like, we've noticed that sometimes you reach out when we post, like, a really, like, good website video. I so love it. We've, we've recognised that we have a similar sense of humour. And your 100%. videos, Michael showed me one the other day. <laughs> that one. Oh, dude, when you, you had that, that big black fella <laughs> on the... Oh, Mac. Yeah, Mac. The Eddie Mer that, you know what the What the fuck was that about, listen, dude? Listen, listen, It was it on was Facebook, Buy, clip. Swap and Sell. And it was the actual prop they used for the Nutty Professor. Nutty Professor. <laughs> Came with a fucking 
authenticity. Is that a thing? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, authenticity. It came with one of, yeah, yeah. He looked legit. It was from the it fucking It looked like movie. a real man, yeah. It's so fucking creepy, that thing. It, but yeah, that's legit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, you were, if you haven't seen it, it starts with you like trying to care for him, but you're abusing him. Yeah, yeah. As yeah. you should if you care for someone. Yeah. And then like it ends with yeah, yeah, you yeah. hooking up with him in front <laughs> of all these people. <laughs> so you just fully commit to the kiss and you just fully and you he can't keep it together. You're laughing as you're kissing him. I should Man, give that I was to you guys, so you guys laughing. can go fuck with people. Yeah, yeah, that would for be sure. fun. Yeah. Dude, 100%. But yeah, it was fifteen hundred bucks. Yeah, well, That's yeah, we'll it's a collector's item. I'll buy it for sixteen hundred. I'll give you two for two hundred. Nutty Professor is a good fucking movie. deal. Oh, Nutty Professor. Eddie Murphy was a fucking shit. Yeah, Dude, so he was. That was a funny. He's clip shit there. now, but he was good. Yeah, yeah. So similar sense of humor. Um, and we're wondering. Let's let's start. Let's start getting you into some website videos. Yeah, I really want to do that. Um, because social media, as everyone's sitting here, and there's how many members are in here of Marty? Yeah, Marty? where's the website members? <laughs> Oh like, my god, that's good. Holy fuck, yeah. that's beautiful. If you're not a member, what the fuck are you doing? Like, this, this shit's... Like, Matt! <laughs> fuck off, Matt. I, I'm still not a member. I'm still not a member. Nah, I, I honestly, because I'm into dark humour and into fucked up shit, I love it. And as soon yeah. as you gave... Or like, I don't pay, you gave it to me for free. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but me and my chick always... My bloke... <laughs> um, we always sit there and, and watch it, and we just love it, man. Like, social media... She likes it, so, too. Oh, she loves it. Okay. Really? Oh, that's oh nice. for sure. She thinks she's both very, very funny. That's so beautiful. And so do I. Um, obviously, everyone here that's here now. Um, but, yeah, I fucking... I love that shit. Now, I'd love to get, you know, chicks on the boat, and then, like... I w we wanted to incorporate this thing with fishing. Like, I have seen it, but it has really hasn't been done too much, but... The chick bending over, and you have the the rod butt in her one or two, uh, and then she catches the fish, and I I reel it in. That's a <laughs> genius idea. <laughs> That's brilliant. Yeah, it is. It's genius. Oh it really God, is. Oh my God, that is. Fun. And then you put the fish in her after. Yes. <laughs> Probably for not. For storage. No, I'll go to jail for that <laughs> shit. But. Yeah, we're we're big fans oh. of your stuff. So oh, yeah. that, well, that's good to hear. I reckon man. even if you're a judge on the next, la you laugh, you lose. Yeah, yeah. I reckon 100%. that would be perfect. Oh, I'd love it. I love it when you just fucking shit on the ground and just like have a piss play. and like, I don't know. Yeah, it's very like our, you know, we were it's influenced. It's dark humor. Well, we were influenced by by jackass, and yeah. when we do those videos, it's like we our bodies get a break from getting abused because it's <laughs> relentless, just constantly torturing ourselves every week. So sometimes. You know, pissing and shitting is a welcome change. For sure. It's yeah. very, very funny. As weird as that sounds. I love it. But anyway, so what were you... Because, like, I remember how I was as a kid having a really weird, unique sense of humour. It's kind of hard to find people to, like, relate to. Did you have the same problem as... it? What were you like as a little fella? <coughs> yeah, little, little definitely. Fish? Like, yeah, I, I always kind of talk shit. And um, I was actually... I actually done Mud, Mud Man before him. Um, <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. On the fucking top that challenge yeah, those or whatever. Yeah, idiots. And I was Dude, like, oh my I God, remember that. A, a, like that's a dart right. in your fucking hand and shit. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to take a shit and I'm going to rub it all over my face and call myself Mudman. Fuck that's you. <laughs> and um, I did that. And I wasn't all there psycholog psychological. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No Don't regret is. it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, same shit that he did. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Sorry. Have you ever broken the law? Bad? Yeah, I'm on good behaviour bond now. Really? Yeah. Oh, because of that the boat, boat shit? shit? Where, and abusing the maritime officer. You abused him? What, what was yeah, that about? Yeah, it was so bullshit, man. Like, well, you can abuse people? I thought that's normal. Yeah, me too. Is that why you wear the mask? To more nah. cover your identity? No. Why do you wear the well, mask? If you abuse well, people, you can be arrested. It's weird as fuck. Like, who wears that? You f yeah, like, right. you know, you look at that and you think, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you know? yeah. like, it's it's so true, yeah. I but get yeah, that. It's just a character that, um, yeah, that likes f blokes and holds a world record. Yeah. You know, it's cool. Nah, it's man. a beautiful like it. character. Dude, it's really it's taken off. Isn't it f***ing weird how that has just exploded like oh, that? A guy dressed psycho. in li tight lycra fishing sh who wants to just f*** blokes goes out and fishes is just like kind of taken over. Yeah, it was Isn't psycho. It's it's crazy how it worked so, out. So what, what's like the... So surely you weren't like one day, all right, I'm going to create this character, I'm going to go out, start filming videos, and I'm going to be this f bloke f fisherman. Exactly how it happened. <laughs> I'm not kidding. 
what? You made the decision. I'm not f- kidding. We were sitting around one day, my buddy's like, hey, what are you doing? And I was like, you're a videographer, let's go out and f- with some people. And he said, yep, let's do it. And then everything was just off the top. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And then it just took off from there, like immediately. It just went ballistic, man. Like, yeah, see, we, had, we, we slugged our asses off. Oh, dude. Doing sh- she so went through much. a lot of pain. Yeah, yeah. And like no one, no one watched. Everyone thought we had like, yeah. No, but walked. I fucking watched what I was saying before backstage. And I was, I was, I was telling um, Michael that I was watching you guys when you were fucking around in tennis courts. And you guys <laughs> were in a shed and there was a couch. And... You know, you were punching each other. Like, that's when Facebook was okay with, like, (laughs) (laughs) self-mutilation. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I I was watching that shit and I was like, this shit's hectic. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, Facebook back in the day was so fun. With with the, uh, as I used to love when you'd pull up on, like, the junkies spaced out and they'd just be so scatbrained. Have they ever come across you again? And you've had, like, altercations with them where they're like... Only once. What happened? Um... Is it, ba- is it okay to say? Yeah, 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 yeah. it's okay to <laughs> I say. fucked him. Um, I don't know. I think I've matured a lot since then, you know what I mean? Like, I kind of looked at junkies back in the day as like, look at you, you piece of shit. Like, you know, I didn't really think about it much and I think what they're going through, do you know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah, I can see, yeah. You know, a lot of people may suppress things and bury stuff with drugs and then they get stuck in that, that loophole as such. Um, so then that's when I really kind of pulled back on that and stopped and thought, you know, well, that's someone's sister or brother yeah. or whatever. Yeah, and I yeah. thought, yeah, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, We've one guy, yeah, one guy, um, he really tried coming at me and to get in my car and like drive physical. away. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's the other thing I want to say because your shit is like, you really get fucking like close to them in their personal space. They're your early fish. shit. Yeah, they get, get stuff, like, like yeah. you know, it's quite confrontational. Did anyone ever fucking have a swing? Nah, because I think they, because a lot of times I'm, I mentioned it, I was a mental patient. Ah, uh, right, right, yeah. So, and they probably looked at the tattoos and shit and they thought, this guy is fucked. He wants to suck my wanna... dick. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, imagine going up to someone and saying, I want to suck you dry. <laughs> like, get your cock out. Like, what are you going to do? Man? Yeah, yeah, you can't punch that. <laughs> no, you can't. Because it, in a way, it's a compliment. Of course. It's someone hitting on you. You can't punch someone cheers, hitting cheers. on you. No. That's yeah. awesome. Oh, yeah, cheers, man. Oh, cheers. <laughs> Good old James saves the day. Everything. Cheers, everybody. <clears throat> so, you, you started, your fucking, your shit went nuts, and then you were like, I've got, I've started making money, so I'm going to give it all away now. What was, the, what was the thinking there? Like, why did you start getting, why not just buy a fucking huge house and burn it to the ground for a video? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty easy to do, I guess. Um, I grew up in a, a broken family, I guess, um, just like maybe some people sitting here. Um, it's pretty com- <laughs> It's pretty common. Yeah, broken yeah. family. <laughs> yeah. It's it's very common, you know. And uh, you know, I I live between halfway houses with my mom and my sister, and we never really had much money. And then when I came into money, when I was a bit older, I was, went for this power shit. I was like, you know what? I know how hard it is. People are fucked still right now, today. People are more fucked. so. I reckon more people are so. hurting, look man. Look at them all. Very bad. <laughs> like look at all these people. They're fucking homeless. <laughs> This no, is but I, I came into it and I thought, you know what, I'm going to give money back because, look, money brings happiness momentarily, like it really does. Like, you yeah. buy a fucking cool car, man, the, the next couple of days after, you're like, I'm fucking over it. Yeah, What's no, up, we've man? experienced that. We've we only got yeah. one thing And you guys life. are kind of like me, you know, you, you guys don't bloat about shit, you just don't post shit that, that you just bought or a house or whatever and go oh look what i just fucking got you know and each to their own i'm not saying that anyone's a fuckwit but they're definitely fuckwits yeah yeah 100%. you know what i mean yeah yeah i feel you <laughs> and but you know that's just yeah, yeah. I, I like it because it's kind of selfish in a way because i f- i get this feeling of helping people it, it makes me feel feel good yeah yeah i get that yeah you know what i mean so. yeah yeah go on agreed yeah it's the way to be so in your whole social media career, how much money and shit do you reckon you've given away in total if you had to have a stab at guessing? Yeah, after tax. Yeah. Um, it's, hard, it's really hard to tell. We do, <laughs> we do a lot of stuff behind, behind closed doors, obviously. People don't want to be on camera and we don't want to exploit people. 
um, friends of friends and stuff like that. But yeah, I'd definitely say around above seven hundred. Wow, wow. seven hundred dollars. Wow. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's fuck. But you got to think, that's only like, I've only doing this four years. Have yeah, you ever had yeah. anyone yeah. that you've given away something to and they've been ungrateful yeah, for or 100%. wanted more? There's Can a lot you, of people like that. Would you express that. it? Really? Don't yes. say a names. A lot of people. What's yes. the situation? There are, there where are you, a lot of people like that. Where you've that. tried to give something away and then they've gone, fuck you, if you can explain it. They don't necessarily, necessarily say fuck you, but... Um, well, they want more. Oh, is that all? <laughs> exactly. Oh. Yeah. Exactly. This is only two months rent, cunt. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> what about right. the third month? That's right. <laughs> yeah. But oh, that's wow. like, come on, that's like maybe eight, six, six out of seven people. Do that. <laughs> oh, my God. I was going to say, fuck everyone then, if that's the case. <laughs> Stop giving well, away. We may as well just fight for world war and just clear out and start again in yeah, yeah, yeah. years. Yeah. Let's get that nuke happening. Yeah. World War Three! World War Three! World War Three! World War Three! Man, that feels right. It feels right to say. Feels right. I like that. That's just me. That's just me. Sorry. Yeah. So, Matt, <laughs> calm down, Matt. So, I, I, I just want to like. I've said it before to Mike Goldman. I, I honestly can't believe he's here. Like, as a kid, like... I know. That, that oh, kind of gave so me weird, nightmares. Eh? I f when I was a kid, I used to watch Big Brother, like, so Same. much. And that guy's voice, fuck. Yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. What a pest. It's and he still looks exactly... He looks better than he, he used to look. Yeah, yeah, he but that's adrenochrome. It's kind of like Barry <laughs> He's with the celebs, right? So he's <laughs> drinking <laughs> baby's blood. <laughs> so he's he? taller, too. Yeah, we saw him slit the Isn't throat he? of a baby backstage and skull it before hey, he I came on. Yeah. I had some, too. He definitely I had, We kids. all had some. We all had a bit of baby blood. Hey, Mike. <laughs> How are you dealing with the fame? Oh, yeah. Like, what do you reckon? Yeah, what's like, that What's like? the deal with that? Because when we did a video with Willem, it was fucked up. This was still early on. Yeah, we went yeah. down to Tweed. Ago. Like we'd be at the fucking beach or something, and cars like three hundred meters away, be like, "Well, yeah, yeah." Like you got recognised just everywhere and anywhere. It was yeah, fucking but insane. It's it's, it's good because it's a job, but um, obviously like shit gets hectic. Go Willem. Um, you know, well, I don't know, man. I'm not. I, I would say I'm well known. Yeah. yeah. It's like you can't undo it. You can't nah. undo Is it, it you shit made. sometimes? Yeah, 100%. Reckon? I got fucking people follow me home um, and then <laughs> I fucking. They follow me home and then I pull in the driveway and they get out of the car and go, oh, hey, can I get a photo? And it's like, whoa, can't. Oh, hey, like, can, I, can I come over for dinner? Yeah, it's like. <laughs> do you invite them in? Heaps of blokes. This well, you I can't be them. rude, man. Like, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? These people are paying my bills and yeah, that's just the reality of it, you know? And it's um, not like you live in an enclosure where, like, they can't nah. find out where you are. And it's just what, uh, you know, it's whatever. Yeah. But fuck them. So How's right. that going? Are we, are we getting anywhere? Did you that's get it? Done. It oh, it's done. It's done. Oh, so we can play it right now. Hey? Fast forward to it because it's five minutes. People don't okay. watch boring shit. All right. So in the meantime, look, now... Oh, and I'm pretty sure this guy that did it was off his fucking guts. On what? On anything? I don't want to say what, but you probably get the picture. And I, and I bet you Julian sold it to him. Oh, <laughs> probably. Well, funny enough, I was in the mirror room back there and uh, he one of my buddies, ice. Eddie, that drove me here, um, I kind of asked him to drive me and I said, give you money. And um, Julian was there and I said, hey, that fucking kingpin, that drug lord? <laughs> <laughs> and um, he goes, yeah, I got some to sell. And I was like, okay, yeah, give me some. And um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lying. Like, so if anyone yeah. sells drugs. If, if the anyone, after party. <laughs> there's any undercovers in here or whatever. But yeah, he does. The after party. <laughs> just joking. Wild, just just joking, joking, police. Yeah, I'm joking. It's just words. <laughs> it's just words. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, hit him up. He, oh, he said 350, but then I said, no, 300. I'm a mate. And he goes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Now, one of the most, one of the, well, the best thing about the podcast this year, and you know about it, is mm. that everything is centralised around one bottle 
of fluid. Yeah, and that that that's more oh, yeah. very so. You've I got would to be smell curious. You, you can say no to this, yeah, and then yeah, we'll throw yeah. it out to yeah, the audience. Yeah. But I would love because because yeah. Paulie's Floppo. Paulie's Paulie's dad did, uh, uncle did it flopper and had us whiff, and it was just fucking hilarious because yeah. he didn't know what it was. Yeah. If you're interested, would you like to have a whiff? Um. Yeah. You have to. You have to. I. I would probably say. There's no peer pressure. Can we get a teaspoon? I like. Sediment. You said you clean, Matt. Matt, you clean? No. You're not clean. No. Oh man. What do you mean? What do you got? Look at Matt diseases. warning Willem saying, do don't mean? ingest it. All right, let's... It. You do what? the honours. I think there's a fly in there. All right. A fly? Yeah. That's all right. Before... I'll have a taste. Trillian's <laughs> already fucking gay. Before we Give let Willem... Taste. Is there anyone in we'll the crowd... Can we get the, the crowd lights on? Is there anyone in the crowd who would also like to volunteer? We'll pick, like, two people to come and have a whip. I think everyone wants to drink your cum, Matt. I'd love, imagine a girl sniffing it. Is there any girls? Any? This one here. Oh, and look the girl at in the hat. Go, no, 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 yeah. Red uh, dress. Red dress. And Tattoo then, man. Come up. All right, Willem, do you want to go first? Yeah, I'll go first. Uh, many nights spent filling the bottle. <laughs> what, what do you mean? It took you one load, man. One load, all right. So hang on, what do we got here? So this is an, an entire bottle of ejaculate. Of Matt's. That's your cum, Matt? Yeah. For how long? What do you mean, how long? How long did it take to... Uh, oh, man. It, it's hard to tell. I'm so sorry. I black out most times. <laughs> you black out? <laughs> All right, let's let Willem have a smell first and see what happens. Yeah, I'll have a smell. Oh, it's so bad. It looks pretty diluted. Oh, oh! If you nah, had look, a, oh, imagine a swig. Bad. Have a swig. Oh. Dude, you could get sick from this, man. I don't Dude, know about this. I will warn you. That's been in there for a year. You want me to drink it, don't you? Okay, I'll drink it. Are you joking? This is the best thing that's ever happened this on this podcast. This is the greatest moment of my life. Oh my God, the fucking smell. Wait, you'll need a beer after. It smells rotten. Are you joking? No, Are you? Drink it. Okay. Can I drink it? I, I don't know. I honestly, I don't know. Wouldn't. Can you do like a... Um, Maybe you don't swallow it, though. No, nah, yeah, I'm I, scared I will. you get food poisoning or something. Food poisoning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? It's like having raw chicken in a bottle for like a it's year. It's like, yeah, climate. It's the climate it's change. Climate change. change. It's climate so change. you saying I could just get sick? I don't know. I don't know. I don't want okay. you to die, dude. So you don't want me to do it? Uh, maybe just... Uh, like, yeah, I do, but I don't. Maybe just... I don't want you to get put sick. Put your tongue in it. Yeah, just taste it, maybe. Pretty weird. I'm not gonna that lie. is so cool, dude. Wow, dude, that was so cool. Okay, guys, guys, look, we need to, we okay, need to just, just reassess yeah. just what just happened. Okay, we weren't expecting that to happen. No way. Okay, no way your tongue was there. Okay, oh, yeah. that's like the, that's like you've already. That's the most fucked up thing that out of anyone. That's not that bad. It. All right, guys. Thank you very much, Willem, for coming on. We are going to have a quick little intermission. <sighs> So Mike's going to come out let you know what, how long the intermission is and we'll be right back with Matt's new chair, gluing pubes to his fucking head and everything else. <coughs> Get some beers in ya and buy some shirts. Will you please welcome them back to the stage, Marty, Michael and Matt! I love you too. Ooh. I love you too.
Can you guys hear me better now? Hey, I guys. Swear you my mic right before. Oh. oh, man, that was pretty fucked up, hey? But anyway. I got out of hand. Like, I feel, I feel ashamed. All right. Now, it's a segment you all know. You may notice that Matt Brown has had the luxury of sitting on that sturdy mother fridge for way too many weeks. Don't uh -huh. you think so? So what we're going to do, we're going to blindfold Matt, take him off stage, and we're going to give him a brand new chair. It's not something that's going to hurt my back, is it? Matt, don't worry okay, about okay, your back, okay, okay. Matt. Your back's be fine. on your back, man. Yeah, back, your back's, back's going to be fine. So, <clears throat> sorry. Guys, we've also just been told from security, right, the security pulled me aside, it grabbed me by the here and just slammed me against the wall and said, Pashed if any you, of them Pashed. stand up and come towards the stage, I'm going to fucking kick them out. <laughs> That's what I got told. <laughs> I reckon we can take them if that happens, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Anyway, let's get Matt blindfolded. Matt, get off stage. Pra Pra get off stage. Blindfold him, someone! I don't want him seeing! Who's blindfolding me? Help me. Do you want to buy a bag? Blindfold him! 300 bucks for a bag if you want. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, guys, just bear with us here. James? Yeah. Here we fucking go. All right, I'm going to go get Matt. Should I... Should I piss him? All right, Matt, Julian. I'm quite nervous. Let him take a seat. I'm quite nervous. Wait, Julian. Julian, wait. Not yet, not yet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Just yeah, sit him down, no sit him down, way. sit him down. Not yet, Don't not take yet. your headphones off. J sit him down, sit him down. Oh. Gently. Just wait, sit, wait, wait, wait. Stay wait, there, not stay yet, there, not yet. Stay there. Do not remove your blindfold yet. Okay? Just fucking stay there. I just have, I just have to finish building this. Oh shit! Don't shove me. Oh. Nearly ready, Matt. Here we go. <laughs> I didn't even know this was gonna right, happen. Let's move this chair here. Yeah, Three. Two, one. Hey! It's a ball pit. It's a ball pit. Welcome. Take a What's seat. What's that? We spilled some beer in it. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm on. I'm on, Matt. Here we go. Mate, you look, that looks fucking comfy ass. It's not that bad. That's not bad. Honest. Yeah, there were rat trips out there, but they look, haven't there were, Look, there were rat traps in there, but most of them have gone off. But anyway. I'm a little so, bit uh, nervous. Another fucking classic great prank on Matt Brown. Yeah. Am I right? Holy shit. We fucking got him. It smells funny. <laughs> ah. Now... Speaking of getting Matt Brown, now this is, this is something that we haven't done for a while, okay? Now, I searched, I had to rifle through Matt's belongings in his room for, for like two hours. You, you don't know this, Matt. But I managed to find the black book. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now, I'm so ready. So, I'm going to read an excerpt from Matt Brown's Black Book. Where did you it's, find it? It's, it, was, it was underneath all of the pregnancy tests and <laughs> some yeah, vials funny. of blood. So everyone, I would like you to be silent, please, while I read Matt's Black Book, okay? So complete silence for this, please, because 
This oh, is man. This, it's important to us. Let's be let's be honest. It's something that we haven't been able to do this season. It's actually much. sort of beautiful. Exactly right, Michael. That's exactly fucking right. Sorry. <sighs> All right. Do I look cute? Silence, please! I took a little sip from my glass of red wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Wow. Holy wow. shit, that was so hectic. <laughs> that, yeah. Look, I can't believe these things have happened and you never tell us, man. Listen, it is what it is. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Dude, is that child? I, I don't, it's just a scalp, Michael. No, it's just so. two men. It's oh just a God. scalp, Your Honour. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, look, my God. Matt, I think it's time. <sighs> we know we, we cover you in with wigs and beautiful dress attire to make you look beautiful. But it's time... Yeah. But it is time you show everyone what your bald skull looks like. So, if possible, can you please stand and remove your hair? Yeah, get out of that piss den there and have a look, eh? Get out of there and have a quick... Have we'll a quick wet. Let it soak in and... All right, let's remove it. Let, first of all, let's remove that hair. Oh! Oh! It's actually not that bad. It's actually not too bad. But do you know what would be better? Hair. Real hair. Real pubic hair. Hair. Oh, move, Brown. I really want this to work. It's time to move, Brown. Now, you, yeah. you haven't been wanting to do this all season, Matt. You in but you will be doing it's it It's time. Yes. Mm. It's now time. Mm. So just take a seat. Someone just asked it. whose hair is it? And the answer is... You will is, now be better. We don't know, okay? Oh, it's a combination oh, wow. of so many of you, so many... And thank you, by the way, so many of you <laughs> lovingly shaved your body hair. Thank you to everyone who donated. It's a charity. And look, it's, you're it's like giving to charity. It's you to can give, give Matt money hair charity. to charity, or you can give hair to the bald. And here we are today oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. with bald. Enjoy it, Brown. You will be better. Michael will now apply some gloves, and we will begin the process of giving oh, Matt hair. Yeah. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> World War Three! World War Three! World War Three! World War Three! Now, look, Willem, I'll get you to hold that, if that's okay, my friend. Look, I'll apply the glue I'll take the to a, it's a reasonable amount. A reasonable amount of glue. I'm sure it won't be, this is hair, it won't be much. We get sent in. It'll be fine. It's got to go big. I hope everyone at work enjoys my hair when I get smooth there. Smooth it around. They're going to be so shocked. That's enough glue. That's enough glue. <laughs> Matt, Is we that also, on the hairline? We also surprise you, Matt. We've actually invited your boss. He's in the crowd tonight. Oh, wow. <laughs> Shout out to Wholesome. Shout out to Wholesome. No, he's not really but, here. Now, like, I was going to use gloves, but I've used the glue for the gloves, so I think I'll just use my bare hands. Oh, really? I think it's easier. It's more, no. it's more natural that way. I'm actually pretty excited to see what this looks Just like. Just add a little to the top. Yeah, yeah. Little bits here, the little Dave bits Sanji. there. Yeah. Mm. Hey, do you want a mic? Bits on the side. Does it look good or what? Fuck. <laughs> wow, yeah, actually this doesn't is so look too fun. Bad. So, Marty, that is pubic hair. Yeah, yeah, this is legit pubic hair that... Sent in by all of you. 10 to 20 random fans have sent in to our P.O. Wow. box every wow. week. I don't see any crabs. <laughs> and I like crabs, but uh, maybe they're just eggs oh. in there. Maybe. <laughs> Look, it's always good to have ball patches because you can't be perfect. True perfection oh, is imperfection. Dude. What do you mean? You know what I mean? Oh, stop touching so your you face You won't lick with your it, fingers Michael. clean. 
Mike. And we'll go to the side. Disgusting. You won't lick your fingers clean. It actually looks like pretty good. I can't, I'm married. Uh, I, can't. I drank his cum. You can definitely hair? lick your That's fingers clean. That's all the clean. hair. Oh, we'll spread it around a bit. Yeah, Michael, try and make it a bit more even. Sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry. Maybe we... Wait, I've got an idea. You guys know David Beckham? Uh, why not go with a mo? Oh, my God. Uh. It's a pubic hair mohawk. Oh my god. I is can't this, wait to tell my mum about this. Is this even funny anymore? It actually looks good. It yeah, actually does it look, look good? good? Yeah, it looks so right, cool. Yeah. yeah, everyone said it'd be bad. He, yeah. Alright. I, I wanna get a video of this, Matt. Alright, let's get a video of this because no one's gonna fucking believe how yeah, good you look. I regret not using gloves. Look, Matt, <laughs> you look, that is fucking all pubic hair and okay, I'm glad that everyone there's a say of water hello. There. Oh. Yes. That's not bad, dude. Oh. Look, it's end of the day, it's just pubes. It's better than no hair. I should know, I've had two. That's... <laughs> right. I, I can't believe Let's it. Let's hear a round of applause if you think he looks better. <laughs> round oh. of applause if you think he looks worse. Okay, so you look better, Matt. There you we go. We improved Matthew Brown. And we will all be very disappointed if you don't walk into the bar at the end of the night like that. <laughs> Dude, if you, you wish. commit to that, oh. Oh, man, the hair we'll just see. doesn't come off. All right, guys, look. There's your pubic hair. So thank you, everyone, who participated in that. Oh, fucked up, fucked up. I event. can feel it on my face a bit. Yeah, yeah, that's normal. That's pretty normal. That's pretty normal. Now, while we're on the topic of Matt, look, we all know he's got a girlfriend, right? This, this mystical girlfriend that no one's ever met before, apparently, and he sees her when no one else is around. He's got a girlfriend. This is the last Tinder segment that we will ever do. I know. Sorry. And look. Sorry. Yeah, look, it's Matt's fault. Yeah. Oh, it sucks. There's still pubes in my head. Now, my, to make that as worse, cold. guys, you're not, you're not going to believe this. So, oh, my God. You know how we got banned um, from Tinder that first time after, like, a month of it? Oh, my God. That There's still pubes in my head. That literally happened halfway through this week leading up to this. So I've got a few new ones, but I've had to revisit some old ones as well to throw in there. So unfortunately, I couldn't get the bangers that I was after, but I literally got banned from Tinder on Tuesday and that was it. But look, we've got some Tinder, Tinder conversations to get through. There's still some good ones. And I that's think. the main thing. So those of you who don't know, Matt Brown has been single for like 25 to 30 years. Whoa, fuck off. He follows us around. We're, Michael and I always in happy relationships, really functional, awesome relationships. We're married. That's my wedding shit. ring. And Matt's always behind us, grabbing at himself, like looking at us and just being a real weird, sick fuck kind of. That's smell, not true at all. Smelling where we've been and shit. So we decided, don't worry, Matt, we will find a girl for you. So we've made a Tinder account for Matt Brown, and I speak to these girls, I swear on my heart, how I think Matt Brown would speak to these girls. I've known Matt for a long time, so I know exactly how you communicate to girls. So these are the final ever Tinder chats. Oh, man, it's sort of sad, isn't it? It's, it's the end of an era, it is, it's the end of an era. There it is. All right, guys. <clears throat> so Matt starts the conversation with, <clears throat> it's not easy being me. No one at work notices me, and it's really starting to get to me. How are you? What do you do for work? I'm all right. Just watching Witcher before bed. I work at the dump and direct the rubbish to the correct areas. My coworkers don't even really say hi to me anymore. It's making me lash out at them, which makes things worse. But anyway, how's Witcher? Where the watch, do you reckon? Is changing jobs an option? I found changing jobs this year. I found a new nice work for a blah, 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 blah. 
Yeah, I'm thinking about quitting more and more, especially after last Friday. I ended up ripping the shirt off a guy working at the Weybridge. He told the manager and had to buy him a new shirt. It was so funny though, he was so angry and embarrassed for a while. I pissed in his shoes during our lunch break too. <laughs> yeah, I haven't played that game either. I'll have to look it up. Ah, uh, yeah, right, that's intense. Oh, that's nothing. This one dude called Phallus is always so quiet and literally never says anything because he doesn't speak much English. So a few weeks ago, I made him follow me to the toilets and watch me shit in the urinal. He was trying to leave, but I had the door locked. Stuff like that is the only way I can make work fun these days. It's so annoying. My coworkers just all think they're better than me or something. Anyway, I'm off to bed. Keen to keep knowing you. Keen to, keen to keep getting to know you tomorrow if you like. You seem cool. You're definitely intriguing. Talk soon. Oh, no. Morning, baby. I'm off to the dump. Do you want me to see if I can find anything? Like what? Just got back from the dump. I can get all sorts of shit. Literally anything you want. Washing machines, fridges, glass fat grease tubes, suffocated grill flares, arched swine bitch fuck, fucking dumb black eyes and shit. Oh, it's hectic. Literally name something and I bet I can get it. I do need a washing machine, but I'd not want to get one fixed if it was broken before being dumped. Yeah, some of, some of them still fully work. I can seriously get you one if you want. I found a crushed up fucking boat shield crut piss bucket and it still works, believe it or not. A what and a what? It's like used to harvest silk from silkworms. A grey fuddle bridge that's crusted with leg slits. Foul grimace though, a real chunky bitch if you want to eat it. I still have no idea if from when you said, except silkworms. <laughs> it's like used to, oh. yeah, I can get you silkworms. How many do you want? They're usually shuffling around in the curtain ditch plaster that's wild and blanket frost downwind of it. Oh. Not my cup of tea though. I really vex a gag order as well. I'm gonna knock that cunt out from work tomorrow, I reckon, unmatched. Oh my, how the fuck does she put up with that for that long? I think they're just lonely and because Matt's so good looking. <laughs> the hair. All right, Matt starts the conversation with, oh, I'm so over having huge planks of wood thrown through my kitchen windows. Bloody kids think it's so funny. Do you have crime? Um, no. Oh, it's happened like three times now. At like 2 a.m. I wake up to super loud crashing and gases and glass breaking and I run out and see a massive five meter long plank of thick wood smashed through my kitchen window. It weighs like 100 kilos. All this crap about youth crime being on the rise is fully legit. I'm experiencing it firsthand. But anyway, how's your week? Oh, wow, really? No crime where I am, I'm in Rothwell. It's going okay. Looking forward to the weekend. Yeah, I feel like they're targeting me. I found human in my mailbox and my car had dead rats glued to it. Kind of scary. Yeah, same here. <laughs> I'm going to a show. What are you up to? Have you reported this? No plans as yet. I did report it after the dead rats, yeah. And I've installed cameras. But I woke up the other morning and they'd cut their fingers off and stitched them onto my fence. And the cameras had been cut in half with frozen piss discs. <laughs> but the new one should be safe. Anyway, so tell me about yourself. What's your dream in life? Unmatched. Oh, no. Unmatched. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you ask something nice. <clears throat> <laughs> Uh, there's oh. a couple of short ones here. <clears throat> so this chick, Matt's got something about being royalty in his bio, okay? So for context, and she starts the conversation with, Hey, do I call you sir or your majesty? <laughs> call me Scrot the Blast Pitch. It's a nickname from high school. I used to take chicks and absolutely blast them on cricket pitches at night. Growl them out and make feasting sounds. How's your week going? Unmatched. Dude, growl. Dude, growling out is the worst term. No! I know. I try, oh my I, God. I try and stop him from talking like this, but... All right, this, this lovely young lady, she's like, got in her bio that she really likes family and all this shit, starts a conversation. Hi, Matt. You look like someone enjoying life. Oh, that's so nice of you to say, but not this week. It's been a shocker. I was transporting eels from one enclosure to another and the latch on the truck popped open. All the eels splashed onto the road and I watched them all die. Worst part was I was reversing the truck over some of the bigger ones to put them out of their misery and the owner arrived and saw me doing it. 
He fully thought I did it on purpose, but he could see it was an accident when he saw that I'd been crying. I honestly feel pretty terrible. I really love those eels. But anyway, I'll be okay. How's your week been? Unmatched. <laughs> <laughs> oh, imagine loving an eel. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. All right, so this is a little bit of a longer one. Matt really gets deep here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, dude. You seem like such a happy person with great energy. I'm a stupid piece of shit and always whinge and get mad at people. Oh, I get so mad when I'm driving. I've even punched my windscreen. How was your weekend? Touche to that first message. Certainly leaves an impression. I just like to be open and honest. It creates a deep connection much quicker. I find people often try to be the person that they think other people want them to be, but the real you will always shine through in the end. So yeah, I want you to know that I have massive anger issues and that I lash out and break material possessions sometimes when I can't control my rage. I would never hit a person though I don't think I can promise you that. I want you to feel safe with me. <laughs> so, so tell me something about yourself. Why are you so happy? Aren't you that guy from the videos? Is this a prank? <laughs> My friends do social media, yeah, but I work in sales. Okay, so you're being real? If so, I'm down to chat. Yeah, just because I'm in a few of the videos, a lot of which I didn't have a choice in being in, doesn't mean I'm being filmed 24-7. I have an actual real job still. Oh, that's good to know. I'm not a huge social media person. Also, in regards to your anger, is it something you work on or have <laughs> accepted? In answer to some earlier questions, my happiness should not be dictated by Tinder pics. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, to be honest, their social media life kind of stresses me out. Plus, I think it's affected our friendship. I don't trust them anymore, and I feel I can't open up to them as much as I used to. My anger is an ongoing thing, and full disclosure, I've done some stupid stuff while I was angry that I'm not proud of. So you may well know, I once king hit a sheep because it ruined my white pants. I've definitely learned to control it more now though. Has therapy helped? I go through patches where it really helps, but then there are times when I just can't control myself and I'll punch holes in walls and smash my car windscreen if I hit a few red lights in a row. <laughs> I'm considering medication, but I just don't know the, about the side effects. Possibly, but they will only mask the underlying issue that makes you lose control. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. But my therapist said sometimes there's a, just a brain chemical imbalance that no amount of therapy can fix. And she said it was a high-risk case, whatever that means. So she's been pushing for me to start taking them ever since I knocked that sheep out cold. <laughs> yeah, I would agree, to be honest. That level of abuse is risky. Yeah, it's really affected my ability to form relationships because girls I date see my outbursts and see me open palm hit my head over and over really fast over the slightest irritation. It's so embarrassing. Yeah, I can imagine. Self-development is hard, but you'll get there if you want to. I definitely want to. I'm trialing this new method. When I feel myself start to get angry, I turn away from whatever is frustrating me and breathe in deeply. And then on the exhale, I let out a slow, low, <laughs> sound. It's actually worked every time so far, so I'm hopeful. Oh, fucking hell. Happened man. today, actually. <laughs> I was at Coles on the machine where you buy your food, kept saying I needed to get that attendant. I did the thing and got through it without too much rage. Anyway, enough about me. What's up with you and shit? Oh. I'm working at the moment and also ordering way too many things from Amazon. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> what do you do for work? Wait, can I guess? I reckon you make furniture and lamb skins. Lamb skins is so soft. Hectic. Yep, that's definitely what I do. Next time you feel the need to whack some wildlife, send them to me my way. They call me Buffalo Chloe. <laughs> yeah, I love your confidence and self-belief and shit. But seriously, what do you do with yourself? For fuck's sake, just tell me, unmatched. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a couple more guys. Another lovely lady starts this conversation, Matt. So, anyway. Hey, Matt, how's your Monday going? No, angry. Just found out I have to pay like $250,000 tax because I haven't done it for like 15 years. Now I've got a fucking fine and shit because they think I was trying to avoid tax on purpose. I'm honestly so over this shithole country. It's so fucking hot and I get all pink and burnt the second I step outside. Dumb bullshit kangaroos and bugs and shit flying around. It's fucking lame as shit. I'd rather live in Iraq than this shithole fucked country with tax. How are you? Oh no. 
<laughs> Is that a joke? I wish. Sorry, I shouldn't have messaged while I was so heated. I'm an emotional wreck right now, and I have no idea how I'm going to pay this back. If you have a good accountant, they might be able to get some of the fees and interest removed. I just went to the accountant, and that's when I found out. He said that there's nothing they can do, and that I've committed criminal charges. I'm so fucking scared, Tara. I haven't even told my wife yet. You have a wife and on Tinder? <laughs> yeah, but I've only ever been on two dates with women from Tinder, and they haven't led to anything. She speaks to male co-workers at her job, and I speak to females on Tinder. Don't really meet many women on, in with my line of work. Wait, so you're in an open relationship? Oh, no, I wouldn't say that. I would never, like, physically do anything with anyone from Tinder, I don't think. Unless, well, maybe you want to maybe do something with me. <laughs> maybe a little kiss or a wristy. Only if you wanted oh. to, of course. I don't mind. If you don't, it's cool. So how long have you been single for, unmatched? <laughs> no! That was good. That was so good. <laughs> you can't say that to people. Matt. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's what I've been saying, Matt. You can't speak like this to people. Oh, oh my God. All right, last one. I'm arching my back in the mirror while on all fours. <laughs> Have you ever tried it? Man, I miss my family. <laughs> no, it's nice you have such fond memories of Father's Day from your childhood. You do podcasts? If you do podcasts, we have to meet immediately, like today. I have something to show you. Uh, no, I'm not a white man with many options. I'm a white woman with many options. Also, if the thing you need to show me is your cock, You'd have to be Ira Glass. What the Why would the thing I have to show you be my cock? I have a sweet podcast set up that I only just bought three days ago. I don't really sleep with someone until I know there's a future with him. Because Tinder, but I very much respect your stance. I'm the same. I've done VO work in the past, and that's what the pick was from. What's your pot about? Also, I have to say, I completely misread slash misinterpreted your first message. My bad. Jesus, you must think I'm a bit strange. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. I was going to show you my cock. Your instincts prove right. Just goes to show, always follow your gut instincts. Oh, no. Unmatched. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so, Matt, unfortunately... Yeah, unfortunately, I had to find a girlfriend on my own because that is what was going on. Well, out. the pressure helped you. The pressure helped you find someone quickly, and now you're free with a girl. Yeah, you did it. And, and to be honest, like I don't, I'm not going to take, I'm not going to take 100% credit, but like 95% credit, I'm going to take because you were holed up in your room watching porn and just following your friends around doing nothing. <laughs> pressure <laughs> helps. Pressure wow. definitely helps. And now you found the love of your life, and she's in the crowd tonight, and Matt wants to ask you something. Matt. Are you okay, gonna do it now, Matt? Take... I hope she's still here. <laughs> Matt, do you want... <laughs> oh my God. Thank you. No way. Everyone stand up and clap. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. Give me my ring back. It's you don't have ring. to propose, Matt. We're only joking. Oh. I was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I will one day, though. He thought about it. He thought about it. <laughs> okay. It was. It would have been so. Imagine that. Imagine a proposal at our show. Yeah. Oh, it would have been hot. She'd will kill me. Hey. If I did a proposal here, she'd kill me. She'd yeah. say no. Yeah, it would be rough, but yeah. hey, Willem. But you look good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, How's guys. my hair? Does it look all right? <laughs> 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 what did you sit in here? Is this what you, what you expected, Willem? No. <laughs> 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 all right, guys, look. We're now going to move on. And can I please get... This is... Now, I need your help for this, guys. This is, this is the first time we've ever attempted a prank call of this kind. This is going to change the world, I think. Slippery. Can I please get the lights on the audience, please? And by the way, this is sponsored by Mother. <laughs> She's dead! Michael's no, mother okay. is dead. It's okay, I'm okay with it. 
All right. It's okay. <clears throat> We want to trick this person into thinking there's a fucking riot happening in the cinema because I'm on the phone complaining about it. But I reckon for like five seconds because we want to get make sure we get their yeah. reaction. So, so what's going to happen is my arm goes up, which is your cue to start screaming at me. When my arm comes down, you've got to stop because otherwise we won't be able to hear this person's reaction. And that's and what we want. Be okay? hateful. Yeah. Okay. Cinemas, this is... Yeah, g'day, mate. I'm just sitting in the cinema um, watching Killers of the Flower Moon. You know that one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and like, um, it's like, it's real hard to get through, mate. It's like probably the shittest movie I've ever seen. Um, if, yeah. If, if I, because it goes for like, like half a day or something, mate. If I leave now, can I get like a refund or like a uh, half refund or just something, mate? Because it's just like, it's fucking... Yeah, um... If you come out to the candy bar, like where you bought your tickets, we should, we'll give you a refund. Yeah, oh, true. So I can come out and get a refund right now for the, for the full movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you shut up? Well, oh, hang on, mate. I've just got people yelling at me in the cinema. So if I leave... Yeah, I, I, cause I yeah I'd probably just leave the cinema now. I don't, I don't want to leave right now. Yeah, just hang on, guys, one second. Oh, for f sake, hang on, mate. Um, yeah, this... So there's a, a guy waiting for me. If you want a refund, I would just come out right now. This All right. Hang on, these people, these people are starting to yell at me. Calm down! Calm down, everyone! Hang on, mate. Hang on, mate. I'm these people gonna... are yelling at me now. Like, oh, for f sake. Just hey, wait I'm one sec, guys. I'm just on the phone of the guy working there. All right, just wait. Hey, so if I come um, out, so confirming, mate, if I leave right now, I can come out and get free tickets. Yeah, if you... Hey, um, give me a second. Really sorry. Um, right, just wait. I'll take you all one on one. I'll take you all down one on one. I'm coming, mate. I'm coming, mate. I'm coming. I'm legging it, mate. I'm coming out to you right now. I've got about ten people chasing me, mate. They're after me. Just, it's just a movie, mate. It's a movie. Mate, can you come get me? Can you come get me? I'm f cornered. I'm f cornered in the middle of the f cinema. I've got getting right in my face. Just relax! Mate, can you... Hello? Hello? Now he's hung up. Oh. <laughs> hey, look. It's hard, Lyle. Damn it! It's hard. The concept was great. But, yeah, reality sucks. Like, look. World War Three, right? World War Three. World War Three. World War Three. World War Three. <laughs> oh, War III. Yeah. That feels so wrong to say, but it sort of tickles right. I'm just hey. picturing that guy running for the cinema right now. Mike, would you like to come in and let everyone know exactly what is at stake here? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Uh, Jesus, it smells like piss here. That's really. Uh, okay, so the scores are tied, I believe. Is that right? Indeed. 19 all. 19 all, so, everybody. So, the scores are tied at 19-19. So, how are we going to decide the winner? Do we get the audience to decide? Well, there is a competition that is about to take place. Oh. Which will decide the winner. But first, let's play the Matt vs. Michael intro video. <laughs> With the winner being able to decide what the hell happens with what is in the bottle. Watch at your own peril. Over to you guys. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, this is. Uh, you can smell that shit it. in the foyer. Now, now this is for the all-important bottle of mints. Now. We've tested everything this year, haven't we? We've tested them emotionally, physically, intellectually, spiritually, and today it all comes down to this. The boys are going to jump on their knees and I'm going to give them a pillow each. Oh, no, we're not sucking. No, you're not... 
You're not sucking dick because you're okay. on your... Oh, I guess that kind of makes sense, but no, we're not doing that. I'm going to give them a pillow each, and these two are going to thrash each other's bodies for two minutes with a pillow fight. Today we, fight, we decide the entire season's worth of Matt's mince bottle with a fucking pillow fight, everyone. Holy shit. This is like... So, Matt, take my hands. What, with, he- li- with, what, with blindfolds on? Can I well, see? There's a, there's a mat for you. Can to I put keep the blind? You can't take see. It off? Stay what on. do I get hurt? It is a blindfolded pillow fight, everyone. A blindfolded pillow fight. All right. <laughs> All right. Wait, wait, wait. So don't start yet. Do not start yet, okay? We're going to start a fucking Is he timer in range? Here. Can I find out the range? We're going to start a timer. Where is she? And when it starts, you've got two minutes, boys. Wait, this is a prank on me. What the fuck, fuck are you doing? Other. What are you talking Where about? Where is she? What? I'm Just in front of you. Reach your hand out. Reach your hand out. I can't feel her. I there, got you. You're both there. There's, you're both sitting, kneeling on a yoga mat. That's Am the I? Is, that, you is have. he there, there, or there? He's directly in front of you. You're both directly in front of each other. Look. Straight. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. That's cheap! We haven't started sorry, yet, I, Matt. I jumped the gun. I we jumped the gun. We haven't started yet. I jumped the gun. I'm sorry. Man, there's got to be penalties for yeah, that. That okay, fucking got my look. jaw. Okay, look. Sorry. Let's start a two One minute point. timer. Oh my god, is there cum on this, by the way? No, there is no cum okay. on anything. It's just a fucking straight out, blindfolded fucking pillow fight, all right? I feel, I can't wet. feel like his head's out. there. All right, okay. where's that? All right, here we go. Your time starts. Three, two, one, go! It's for the cum bottle, boys! Go nuts! It's for the cum bottle! It's for the car bottle, boys! Don't give up! <laughs> Fuck him up! Fuck him up! We're a minute in! Oh! Go! World War Three! World War Three! World War Three! World War Three! And time! Oh, God. Right, take your blindfolds off, boys. It's so fairies. Take your blindfolds it's off. It's so fairies. My blindfolds suck it's so my fairies. Oh, my, Matt's blindfold. Oh. oh my God. All right, oh, stand up, boys. Stand up. Holy that was shit. Way, way. There was some that. fucking oh. big hits in there. Is my hair okay? <laughs> yeah, your hair looks fucking great. Man, oh, there were some fucking big hits in oh, there. Holy shit. My head hurts so bad. Every now and then, you guys just connected like Dude. clean as fuck. Yeah, I saw fairies. Ooh. We need you guys to vote for this, okay? <sighs> oh my god. Who? Okay, let's do this by oh, round man. of applause and cheers. That's... Oh! oh! Oh, man, shit! That's, that's sorry, sorry. Penalty. Holy shit! Sorry, I'm that's sorry. Cheating. I'm sorry. Leave it to the crowd. Leave it to the crowd. Sorry. Round of applause and cheer if you think Matt won that fight. <sighs> Ooh. Remember, this is for the winner of the cum bottle, okay? This is, like, so important, okay? There's, like, a billion children in there. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Round of applause if you think Michael won that fight. <laughs> no way. Oh my god. Michael is the winner! I did it. I fucking oh did it. Oh my god, what a battle, everyone! What a battle they've had over the years! Michael's it's mine! mine! It's mine! What are you gonna do with it? It is mine! Oh, okay. it is mine. Yeah. What's he gonna do with it? It is mine. Oh. Congratulations. I did it. I literally have no idea what he's I about to it. do. I don't know what's gonna happen. I did it. What's he gonna do? I don't know. I did it. I'm sorry. Oh, he's apologizing. That's not good. It's not 
good that he's taking his mic off, everyone. I'm just going to warn you. So sorry. We're so sorry. That is fucking Okay, disgusting. fuck, we need a cleanup crew right now, dude. That is gonna fucking stink the whole place out. Oh my oh, god. Man, the smell. Oh my god, there's a smell. Please, please remain calm, everyone. Take it off, take it away, take it away. Take the whole fucking pool away. Take it. Yeah. Where's James? Take it away. Take it away and burn it. Okay, look, it's starting to subside, and if you kind of think about it, you, you get used to it a little bit, all right? Just... <laughs> all right, guys, to finish with, we're gonna end with a classic little Q&A. So boys, come on out. All the boys, come on out. Julian, James, right, come on out. I'll send someone to Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Okay, I got a question right up the back here to start it all off. I'm Jack from Brisbane. This so one's for you, Michael. You either, if that bottle of cum was still in the room, you gotta drink it all for your mum to still be alive. Would you do it? Can I just have a swig? Oh. No, I, I probably would. Yeah, I'd, to bring her back, I'd scull the whole thing. <laughs> and I, I'd drink your cum to save your mother's life. That's a stupid question. Michael's mum's dead. <laughs> it's, next, yeah, it's a shame. Okay. It's a shame. Next question. Man, my <laughs> eyes hurt. Uh, please my say eyes. your name, where you're from, and your question. Dave from Sydney. Boys, I just want, really want to know, what sort of coffee brand do you use for the coffee enemas? Uh, we use, <laughs> we use de decaffeinated um, uh, organic... What, what brand is it? Yeah, decaf organic. Uh, Just because yeah. we've done actual if caffeinated. If it's caffeinated, yeah, it fucks you up. Yeah. It's, it, can, it doesn't matter if it's caffeinated or not. You get an anxiety attack having fucking litres of fluid flushed up your ass. It's Healthy. fucked because when you do it, your mouth salivates. You can feel the coffee Mine in your doesn't. fucking mouth. It's... Mine doesn't do that, Julian. And it's Just... quite healthy. Okay. It is meant to be healthy, but man, yeah, you can Mark's get anxiety hard. Okay, next Mike question. Mike found a this, chef. This, this guy was uh, wearing a cool outfit, so I thought I'd put him on stage. Hey! What, what's, what's your name? Where are you from? What's your question? Rob from Ballina. First thing, fuck you, Julian. <laughs> <laughs> My question is, that real estate agent at Matt's house, how the fuck do you guys do that shit? Yeah, oh, like, we're very, yeah. very lucky. Yeah, good question. We're, like, that's a good question. We're, they're going to knock the house down, I'm pretty sure, and build units on it. Yeah. Th so they sort of let us come into the house. There's a property developers, so they let us do whatever the f we want until they're going to demolish. Very accepting. Of Very us. lucky yeah. we f hit the jackpot there because any normal house we'd be out on. We our have house. been kicked out as many, you've seen many times. Yeah. Okay, right. one last one. Last this guy, he was at his hand up since the start. What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, my name is Blade Major. I'm from Brizzy. Um, it's not more of a question, it's more of a statement that I wish I was in the pit with Michael as he dripped <laughs> all of you. Sorry, can you, just, can you say that again? I didn't quite it's hear It's more of a statement, that one. Uh, it's more of a statement. I just wish I was embracing Michael as he was...
getting covered in love. That's normal. That's a normal thing. Yeah. That's, that's oh a feeling you'll have. That's a normal. Right, okay. I don't know what to say to that, guys. It's just All right, really guys, look, weird. we're going to have to wrap it up, but don't forget, yeah. we fucking love you, we and we'll see you soon. Stay positive, test negative, I'll you fucking sick. Soon.